Hello, I am Dr. Nayan, you are watching Biodesk. Today in this video, we shall discuss phylum Orthropoda. Orthropoda is the largest phylum of animal kingdom. The name Orthropoda has been derived from Greek language in which orthros means jointed and podos means legs. So this is the group of animals having jointed legs. The name Orthropoda was coined by von Siebold in 1845 AD. The animals of this phylum are characterized by the presence of jointed legs, segmented body and chitinous exoskeleton. Exoskeleton means outer hard covering. The body is provided with a protective hard covering from outside and this is made up of chitin. Chitin is a hard protein, scleroprotein. So here exoskeleton is present, legs are jointed and body is segmented, segmented divided into many segments. Phylum Orthropoda, the largest group of animal kingdom, includes about 80% of all known animals. This group includes about 900,000 different species and the common examples are crowns, crabs, insects, spiders, scorpion, milliped, centiped, ticks and a long list of these animals can be made. Here are some examples of phylum orthopoda. One is butterfly, another this one milliped. Here we are seeing prawn, the common freshwater animal found in our locality also. This one scorpion, spiders and several others are there under phylum orthopoda. When discussing the general characters of any phylum, we must keep in mind certain points. Remember, we have to discuss body organization, habit habitat, general characters, general features, activities performed by the body and some special features. So here, when we talk about body organization, this phylum includes the members having organ system grade of body organization means organs are developed and organ system also developed organ system like digestive system respiratory system this is said to be the most successful group among different animals here the members are found all around us they may be aquatic Many of them are terrestrial and some aerial forms also. They may be free living or parasitic. Some members live freely and some are of economic importance also. However, some others are parasitic animals. These animals are triploblastic. Remember once again, triploblastic means having three layers of germinal cells, ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. So these are triploblastic animals, silomate animals, true silomate, u silomate means true body cavity present, silome present so they are called silomate animals. Silome is the body cavity present in between body wall and alimentary canal and is lined by mesodermal cells on all the sides. They are bilaterally symmetrical means right side left side similar and metamerically segmented. Metameric segmentation means body divided into many similar segments. So metamerically segmented. This condition is found in Annelida, Orthropoda and Chordata, three different major groups of animal kingdom. Here body is externally covered 
with an exoskeleton of chitinous cuticle. We have discussed previously under introduction. Chitinous cuticle means made up of chitin, cuticle like material or wax like material which is made up of hard chitin forms outer protective covering and this is called exoskeleton, the supporting protective covering. In them locomotion takes place by jointed legs and so the name of the phylum given orthropods. In another words we can say appendages are jointed. Appendages are the free movable parts that help in locomotion and other activities. Here for locomotion jointed legs are found. Body is generally divisible into head, thorax and abdomen. So when we talk about body divisions in most cases three divisions head anterior thorax is the middle part and abdomen posterior part. However, in certain cases head and thorax get fused and form cephalothorax. So a common term for head and thorax. Antennae and compound eyes are mostly present in them. Antennae which arise from the head region are sensory structures. And what are compound eyes? Remember, compound eyes means union of simple eyes. Our eyes simple eyes. In a simple eye, we see one lens, one retina. But here, compound eyes contain many lenses, many retina-like structures. So, compound eyes are the union of simple eyes. Now, come to some other characters about circulatory system. The circulatory system that is the transporting system of the body here developed and circulatory system is of open type. Remember the term open type, closed type. Last time in previous group we know in Annelida circulatory system is of closed type. Blood flows through closed vessels. This diagram indicates closed type circulatory system in which heart connected with blood vessels and blood always flows through the closed tubes or closed blood vessels. So this one called closed type. In open type of circulatory system, the blood vessels are open at their tips so that the blood is released into the body cavity. And from the body cavity, blood returns into the heart through different pores. So here in orthropods, circulatory system is of open type, this type of circulatory system. So there are different blood sinuses, sinuses means spaces, several spaces filled with blood and the body cavity filled with blood. Here body cavity is reduced, filled with blood and this type of blood is called hemocele. The blood that is inside cavity, body cavity called hemocele and such a blood is called hemolymph. Cavity, hemocele and the blood, hemolymph. The respiration means gas exchange. For respiration, several structures are developed in them. Respiration takes place through general body surface or by gills, by trachea or by book lungs. So different structures are there. Remember, they are found in different habitats. So for living in different habitats, different types of structures are found in them. For living in water, gills are suited. Gills found in prawn. General body surface in different members where structures are not so developed. But in most terrestrial forms, trachea, the network of tubes through which air flows. Book lungs are lung-like structures or gill-like structures. Rectangular in shape, folded like books, so the name given book lungs. Thus, in this group, different types of respiratory structures are developed. General body surface, gills, trachea 
or book lungs and excretion remember excretion removal of metabolic waste in phylum annelida nephridia are excretory structures but here in arthropods excretory organs are green glands or malpighian tubules green glands the name indicate these are glandular structures green in color for example here in the diagram we can see in case of prawn at the base of antennule there are antennal glands these antennal glands are green in color in fact they are concerned with excretion so these are excretory structures and malpighian tubules these are tubular structures reported by malpighiae so the name given malpighian tubules in case of insects we see malpighian tubules several fine tubular structures attached with the alimentary canal the food canal food canal alimentary canal starting from mouth ending into anus here in the wall of alimentary canal several fine tubules remain connected these are the excretory structures removing metabolic waste so green glands and malpighian tubules are excretory organs found in different arthropods next about nervous system nervous system and sense organs both are developed in these animals nervous system well developed that includes a nerve ring and a ventral nerve cord in phylum annelida also we see nerve ring and nerve cord what are these structures we can see in the diagram here around the alimentary canal in the anterior end especially in the head region the ring like structure is formed where the upper ganglia forming the brain this ring like structure made up of nerves called nerve ring and a long thread like structure runs along the length of the body through mid ventral line this is the nerve cord present on the ventral side so called ventral nerve cord thus nerve ring and ventral nerve cord are the major components of nervous system here the different branches are supplied to various organs in order to control their activities so different nerves are also seen arising from these in arthropods sexes are generally separate means they are unisexual and in most cases sexual dimorphism is distinct means males and females can be separated from outside fertilization is internal taking place inside the body of the parents means fusion of gametes takes place inside the parents body and development is usually indirect you must remember indirect development means there is certain larval stage during the developmental phase you must remember mosquito larva larva quite different from adult and that's why this type of development is called indirect so in most cases indirect however certain cases are there in which larval stages are absent so indirect or direct both the conditions found but usually indirect this is all about introduction and general characters of phylum arthropoda in our next video we shall discuss the classification of phylum arthropoda so stay tuned for upcoming videos see you in the next one thank you